What was that? Is everything okay? I don't know, my husband and my boys are outside playing and I just heard a loud noise, so I'm hoping they're okay. So I want to share with you the items that have sold for me on the Poshmark app the last 10 days. And although we are in this crazy pandemic, uh, people are still buying. So please don't be discouraged. Um, I encourage you to keep listing, keep sharing if you're on the Poshmark app and just keep at it. I mean, I was not expecting to make this many sales in um, 10 days. So that keeps me going. That gives me motivation that I am making sales um, regardless. So anyway, let's just get to it and show you um, what has sold for me. The first item is a Free People Great Escape Dolman Reversible Jacket and I had this for probably five months in my closet and it just sold. We are coming into spring. It is a fall and winter jacket and it sold. So you never know if it's a trendy piece, if it's a nice quality item, people are going to want to buy it. Um, so I had this listed for $100, or I'm sorry, I had this listed for $90 and it sold for $70. Next is a Free People skirt. It is called the Olivia Slit Midi Skirt and it's a really cute skirt. Um, so I had this listed for I think $30 and um, I had an $18 offer, so off it went. Very happy to see it go. Perfect cute little piece for um, spring and summer. Next is a pair of Free People boots and these are called the Dylan Lace Up Boot and I'm obsessed with this boot. I actually ended up keeping a pair for myself. I got them in white, brown and this um, black color and I only, my only regret is that I didn't buy more. Um, so I had these listed for around 100, 120 I believe and um, this particular brown pair sold for $70. Again, we are coming into spring and a winter boot sold. So I can't express enough that you just gotta keep listing all items throughout the year. And again, another pair of the Dylan Free People boot in black. These sold for $60. I am so happy that um, the buyer was so happy with them. She did ask me a few questions before, so I was like a little nervous if they were gonna meet her expectations, and she was so happy. So overall, so happy with that sale. Next is a bundle of three pieces. It was this um, this Lululemon Crop J Slides that I've had for quite a while, probably at least eight months, so I was happy to see those go. Um, there were J Slides slip-on Espadrille sneakers, and a pair of Free People or Cool Way for Free People, a collaboration, um, the platform sandals. And I'll put a picture here. So I was very, very excited to get this three piece bundle, not only because we all love bundles, but because the Lululemon crops. I can't sell Lululemon to save my life. I don't know why. I just, I can't sell it. So when I saw this bundle, I was over the moon excited that I was gonna finally get this Lululemon piece out of my closet. <laughs> and same with the J slides, again, I've had them for quite a while. So anytime I see anybody bundling something that has been sitting for more than six months, I get like super excited. Um, yeah, so that was this bundle, and this bundle sold for $60. Very happy with that. And also Cool Way is like a f funny brand to me because their styles are very unique, and I had run into this brand before and I didn't pick it up because I was like, hmm, it's just a little bit different. And I experimented with a pair of booties and they did really well. So ever since then, I've just been picking them up and they seem to move fairly quickly for me. So if you ever see Cool Way in a funky print, I'll put like the label here so you could see what it looks like. Um, pick it up. It's usually a collaboration with free people. 
All right, next is a two-piece bundle. And funny enough, this was a um, brand new user to the app. She made an offer on one item and then I accepted it. And then she made an offer on another item a few minutes later. And I was like, okay, I'm going to reach out and comment in the bundle feature. I know that you are interested in these items. I would love to help you save on shipping. Would you be interested if I just, you know, I canceled your order and bundled your items that you liked and then you can make an offer that way so you pay shipping once on all the items that you like? And she was like, oh my God, thank you so much. Yes, please do that. So she had liked three items, made two separate offers, and I canceled them. I bundled the items for her and then said, I have added your items here. Um, when you are ready, filtering, sorting, um, you can make an offer. And so I had three items. She removed one of them and then bought the other two outright without making an offer. And then proceeded to tell me that she had messaged all her close friends my closet name on Poshmark because she was like so pleased that I was so nice and, uh, and I didn't even give her a good deal, she just bought them. So that was so nice and I did send her like a cute little thank you card. Um, but those customers just really make your day. They make it all worth it when they value you and appreciate you and she didn't have to do that. She could have made an offer and um, we would have been okay but she bought them all right. So that was a really nice surprise again those two pieces, a pair of Ugg boots and um, a top sold for $79. Next is another Free People piece. It is a cropped um, pullover. It is Free People and Intimately, the Intimately line um, and it sold for $30. I had this particular cropped sweater in my closet for five months. Um, so happy to see it go for $30. It was actually really cute with the little lace panel underneath that was like peeking through the bottom uh, of the hem. So yeah, really excited with that. The buyer was super happy. We're both happy. <laughs> All right, next is a Free People bralette. It was called the Adela Strappy Bralette and I love this style bralette. It was my first time putting a bralette like this on um, on Poshmark because I didn't want to pick them up if I wasn't going to make a profit on them because they are very small lightweight items so shipping adds quickly if you're paying just a few dollars sometimes you pay more for shipping than you do for the item or for like in the buyers view uh, so I put it up for $30 yes it's a little bit pricey for a bralette but it was new without tags I knew it was a popular style I knew it was a pro popular bralette so I got a $15 offer on it and I accepted it because I knew the buyer was going to then have to pay tax and shipping on it and the price for a bralette was quickly going to add up yes I'm still making a profit on it the product is moving it got out of my house and the buyer was happy with it and um, overall I was just happy to accept a $15 offer for a bralette. Another bra, was well, this is a bra, and this one is a um, Noblesse, Noblesse, I don't know how to pronounce that brand, I'll put a tag here, for um, free people it was a silk floral bra and um, new without tags again Price it for $30, accepted a $15 offer, totally fine with letting it go for $15. I have a anthro, um, or I had an anthropology, adorable um, rattan woven uh, little crossbody bag. And I had it for quite a while and I just didn't want to part ways with it. One had a little bit of a flaw and two I just was like, oh, I don't know. It's so cute, will I ever use it? So I had it <laughs> laying around my office for a while. Fixed the flaw and then I listed it and I had it listed for $40 and, um, no, $45, I'm sorry, for $45 and literally like in an hour or two, I had a $38 offer and I accepted it. So yeah, very happy with that. It moved really quick and I'm happy that somebody will actually use it, unlike me. Next is a pair of Free People, again, the Dilla Blisa boots. I love this boot. This pair, size 9 in black, sold for um, $60. 
Next is a Dunian Burke Florentine Satchel. Oh my lord, I love this bag. I, I'm a huge Dooney fan. Dooney has, was like my first love in bags and I have been in love with this Florentine Satchel style for years and years and years. So I actually did a whole haul, um, or I didn't do a whole haul, but I found this in a haul that I recorded um, a few videos back if you wanna go check it out. But yeah, I have the large one in this style. I have sold another Florentine Satchel before and I don't need another one, it's just sitting here. So I had listed it for $120 and then I accepted a $75 offer on it and it sold um, within the day of listing. So very happy to see it go. I know it's a amazing, classic, timeless piece. I just can't stress enough how much I love Dooney and how beautiful this bag is. The color is amazing. It had like green suede on the inside. The tassel details, I mean, everything about the craftsmanship and the design of this bag is beautiful. So if you ever see a Dooney and Burke satchel like this one, they have many, a small, a large, different sizes, different colors, pick it up because it will move quickly if you price it correctly, if it's in a good condition and it's just a good seller. Next is a Champion 4 um, Urban Outfitters. It was like a reverse weave sweatshirt uh, pullover. The name of it was the All Over Sweatshirt and I only bought it because I thought I was gonna wear it and I didn't end up wearing it, which seems to be my problem quite often where I buy stuff that I think I will wear and I buy it because I like it and then it just sits in my closet, which is why I just cleaned out my closet um, last video and I will probably do another one because I still have a lot of stuff. But anyway, this sweater was listed for $35 and I got a $29 offer so I accepted it and it was really cool. It had strawberries and fruits and flowers so it was a really cool sweater. Next is a Lulu's dress that I picked up um, during um, like the fall-ish time. So not, not that long ago but quite a bit ago and um, I bought it again for myself but I didn't wear it. The neckline was too plunging for me and um, it was brand new with tags. I had it listed for $35 and I accepted a $27 offer. Beautiful dress, perfect for spring and summer, wedding season. I mean you can wear it to so many occasions so really cute dress. Excited to see that go. Next is a pair of um, Jeffrey Campbell for Free People, the Palermo heel in black, and I have this style in black and in brown. I have them listed for $130. They are amazing. I kept a pair for myself. Um, <laughs> what else is new, right? And I love them. They're strappy. They're super fun. You can dress them up. You can dress them down. Weekend outing. Like, so fun. Such a cool piece of shoe. Such a cool shoe. Um, not a piece of shoe. <laughs> but these, I have them listed for $130 and I went ahead and accepted a $120 offer which is like, can they all be this amazing? Great offer. So excited. Next is another piece that I had in one of my previous hauls here and it is a May for Anthropology maxi dress in like a mustard marigold yellow which I love this color and again I bought this for myself. Never wore it and probably had no intentions of wearing it but I just love the color and the style. Um, so anyway, I listed it on Poshmark. It did get a lot of attention right away and it sold within two days of listing for $24. I did have it listed for $35. Next is a pair of Jeffrey Campbell for, pre for free people shoes. They are called the Max Platform Shoe or boot, I should say. It's a really cool style. They have these cool buckles. It's got cutouts on the side and this pair has been in my closet for at least six months. Um, I have sold them in black before and they moved quicker, but this was a smaller size. It was a size five and a half and I had them listed for $90. Um, they were new without tags, had very light store wear, but again, like it was a really cool style. I personally really love this style, so I pick up anything that I really like and they sold for $50. 
Next is a jumpsuit. You guys know I love overalls. I love jumpsuits. I just think they can be so flattering and you can wear them like all year round. And this uh, pair was the Unchanned Melody jumpsuit and it sold for $30. And oh, it was a free people jumpsuit. This next pair of sneakers, um, <laughs> I have a few and the size that sold was a size 8, which funny enough, I had photographed um, and I didn't have it listed as an available size, which is really weird to me because I like triple check if I am selling multiples that I have them all accounted for. And the buyer was, you know, very nice enough to be like, so just wanted to know if you have this shoe in a size 8, like you have it photographed. And I was like, what? I must have had it in there and sure enough I had it photographed and um, I just didn't have the available size so I quickly changed it and it wasn't until the next day that I um, had realized the comments and I changed it let her know that it was an available size and she bought it for full asking I was so surprised and I was so like grateful for that full price sale so that definitely made my day and she was so sweet about it too. I sent her like a little free goodie because she was just so sweet and they sold for $50. They are, they are called the Free People River Run Distressed Sneaker and if they're not sold out on Free People right now, um, they may still be available because they were available online for 70 when I first listed the um, the sneakers. All right, next is a uh, wallpaper. It's from Anthropology. It is called the Watercolor Bloom in Pink. Beautiful piece. It covered about 60.75 square feet or something like that. And I just put up wallpaper in my closet. If you saw my video prior, so. I didn't have enough of this wallpaper to use it, so I didn't even bother unwrapping it, and then it sat in my closet for like five months, um, because I didn't want to part ways with it. I thought I could find a wall in my home to use it, and I just didn't. So I listed it for $70. You can actually still buy it on the Anthropology website for $88 or $90, depending on the size. I'm not sure. Um, but anyway, mine sold for $50. Next is a really, really amazing Free People studded jacket, denim jacket. It's so cool. Oh my god, I'm, I'm really surprised that this jacket set for so long. Um, I did have it listed quite high for like 160 but I knew its worth. I knew the style was trendy. I knew that it was a nice staple piece for someone to have. Denim jackets never go out of style. And because this has some embellishment and it was a, you know, different shades of uh, different washes on the sleeves, I knew it was a little special. So I did have it listed high. Yes, it set for a long time, but then I got a $90 offer and I quickly accepted it. So it's called the Patchwork Studded Denim Jacket by Free People. You can see it is a stunning, beautiful jacket. I was so happy that someone now will get to enjoy this beauty. Next is a um, novella for free people. It is called the Goldie Dress. It's a novella royale. I always butcher these names. Um, but it's a really nice dress, um, size small. I had it listed for 60 and I got a $40 offer and I accepted. Next is a, an amazing free people corduroy embroidered zip up like jacket. Oh my God. The detail on the back of this piece is stunning. Um, so uh, I forget what I had it listed for, but it sold for $56. Super happy that someone will get it and enjoy it because it's amazing. And it's one of you guys because I know you left me a comment. So if you're watching this, thank you so much for purchasing that beautiful jacket. I like so appreciate the sale and it makes me so happy that one of you is now enjoying one of these really beautiful pieces, so thank you. Next is a um, Jeffrey Campbell boot. I had a couple of these, and this particular one just sat a little bit longer than the others, but it sold for $50. It was the Jeffrey Campbell for Free People Sahara Hiker Boot. Super cool, a little bit of a platform, cheetah print, animal print, never goes out of style, at least I don't think. So very excited with that sale. And a few more to go and we are almost done. 
This anthropology clutch is stunning. Oh my god, I love it so much. I actually just posted it in um, my video from me cleaning out my closet. That's where it came from. And it sold like within the day. Uh, I had it listed for $30. It was a little bit high for the, not the quality because it's amazing quality, but it was missing the crossbody strap. So I obviously disclosed that. It's still in really good condition and I love the style of it. So I was happy with a $15 offer. It came from my closet and I just needed to make room. And so yeah, I was very happy with that sale. So that's it guys. I talked really fast. I kind of rushed through it, but I wanted to get them all out there and not make this video super, super long and bore you to death. So thank you so much for tuning in. Um, as always, like I appreciate you guys so, so much. Thank you for giving me your time. I value it and I, I really, really like just thank you. I am always very awkward with wrapping up the video so I am going to end it right here and hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys very soon in another video. Bye guys!